of 120 bathing sites had pollution, polluted with sewage. This isn't good enough. This is not good enough. This has to stop. Your infrastructure is crumbling, okay? It's outdated. It's time you put people and planet before profit, okay? <laughs> Today's AGM is another example this of your motto, you profits are more important than people and our planet. Month after month, year after year, the sewage con pollution continues. Only two months ago, you were fined a record amount of 2.15 million for illegally dumping sewage at Lost Withiel, Kilmington, Crediton, Torpoint and Watergate Bay. Those crimes date back to 2020, but you are again, right now, under investigation by Ofwat for environmental performance failures. Your WaterFit programme is a greenwashing <laughs> exercise to placate your bill payers and distract them from the extortionate dividends that you are paying shareholders this year and every year. that 
is urgently needed to fix your sewage disposal system and prevent the literal shit in your pipes hitting our beaches and rivers. Are you not embarrassed? Have you no shame? Hear me out, because what this board wants you to believe is that everything is fine. We will get there. Don't make a fuss. The truth is that this company has spent far too little to upgrade its infrastructure and protect our rivers and beaches. This company has been hollowed out and piled up with debt, leaving less than 30% of its value in the business. Where has the rest gone? I'm an elder, please sit down, I'm a sir. grandparent, yeah, and yeah. I'm absolutely please sit down, sir. what let, actually let, is let, happening let, with let South the lady water. finish, please sit down, um, sir. Well, I'm let so sorry, finish. but I am going to make these you points. Can, you can make and, your uh, comments after she's well, done a presentation. Uh, yes, I hear that's, that. That's a nice thing to do. But today is another example of your motto that profits are more important than people in our planet. Well, I want to say these things. And yet, month after pollution just continues. Only two Pretty places we've already heard about, yes. And we know that goes back to 220. But I can give you examples of what's happened this year, 2023. If you just want to look at the River Lynn in Dorset, for instance, which runs into the beautiful bathing beaches of the uh, of Lyme Regis. In May this year, on an ITV broadcast, it was described as ecologically dead. Yeah? And that just breaks my heart, that does a river which has had trout, eels, invertebrates and kingfishers now having a brown sludge on the surface. And in the same river, in March 2023, tests by the Environment Agency found 27,200 units of E. coli per 100 mil of... Actually, fellow shareholders there. 
Um, and uh, the disruption worked really, really well. Um, they were, I think for next time, we just have to plan for longer and longer speeches, really. Um, another nugget that we got out is that the total amount of dividends paid out in the, since privatization by this company was four billion pounds. They're now in debt by three billion. So they paid out more than they're worth, than, than, than what they've borrowed. And we, with all of our water bills, keep on paying so they get their million. Shame. It's a real shame and it just needs to be highlighted further. So yeah, uh, let's make some more noise. <laughs> Yes.